Hey guys! The movie Jurassic Park has taught us that scientists shouldn't experiment with the DNA of extinct creatures, as it could end badly. Nonetheless, given the rapidly advancing science and the opportunities that open up, scientists can't pass up the chance to revive extinct animals. And thus, they're already actively engaging in attempts to resurrect creatures that have long been gone. In today's video, we'll tell you about 10 extinct animals that scientists are going to revive in the near future. If you thought that unicorns were fictional creatures you could only meet on the pages of fairy tales or in science fiction movies, you were right, but only to some extent. Unicorns did really exist, but they looked a little different than what we've been seeing in the movies. One perfect example is the Siberian unicorn, or to be more precise, the Siberian Elasmotherium. It's an extinct species of rhino that lived in Eurasia in the Middle Pleistocene period. Scientists believe that these particular creatures, which are relatives to modern rhinos, went extinct about 29,000 years ago. Scientists believe that from a biological point of view, these species have gone extinct relatively recently and thus can be resurrected. The permafrost has well preserved the remains of this real unicorn, which gives a real chance for the revival of this species today. Like mammoths, saber-toothed tigers, or rather, saber-toothed cats, are among the most famous extinct animals in the world. Just think of the famous Ice Age cartoon, where the saber-toothed tiger Diego is one of the main characters. The last saber-toothed tigers became extinct about 10 to 11,000 years ago. Scientists believe that the saber-toothed tigers were the first animals on the planet that have gone completely extinct because of humans. However, mankind can still get a chance to apologize to these creatures by reviving them. Scientists believe that the remains of saber-toothed tigers preserved in the permafrost can serve as sources of DNA. If scientists can manage to get the saber-toothed tiger genes, they will have to find a surrogate mother later on. According to the researchers, the best candidate is the African lioness, which is believed to be the optimal egg donor. The Irish elk, also known as the giant elk, is an extinct ungulate mammal from the Cervidae family. This species existed from the late Pleistocene to the beginning of the Holocene, 10 to 13,000 years ago, throughout Eurasia and North Africa. But especially many remains were found in the peatlands of Ireland, hence the name of the species. Scientists note that the Irish elk was one of the largest deers that ever existed on the planet. The height of the largest individuals was over two meters at the withers, while the distance between the tips of their horns could reach up to four meters. Scientists are currently planning on reviving these species. Right now, they're tackling one of the most serious problems standing in their way to successful resurrection. They're trying to find living species that are most similar to the extinct ones. According to scientists, only a representative of this species, specifically a female, can become a surrogate mother for the cloned embryo. One way or another, if the search is successful, the Irish deer may well be revived. The dodo is an extinct flightless bird that was endemic to the island of Mauritius in the Indian Ocean. Along with mammoths and dinosaurs, the dodo is one of the best known extinct species and the most famous extinct bird in the world. Unfortunately, humans were the reason the dodo went extinct. Before people began to populate Mauritius, the dodo lived carelessly in isolation from any predators. Scientists believe that was the reason why the dodo wasn't afraid of people that came to Mauritius, while people, on the other hand, realized how defenseless the dodos were and used them for their own benefit. Throughout the 17th century, people destroyed these birds' natural habitat, while the animals that people brought with them ravaged the birds' nests and competed with them for the limited food resources. As a result, the dodo population declined sharply, and the last Mauritian dodo died in 1662. We think that these amazing birds were treated unfairly, and so do many scientists who want to try and resurrect the dodo. They plan on taking the dodo's closest relative, the maned pigeon, and combining its cells with the dodo's. Thus, theoretically, the revival of the Mauritian dodo might actually be possible. Currently, the Australian island of Tasmania is known primarily for the Tasmanian devils somewhat creepy mammals that are endemic to the island. But until relatively recently, there was another interesting species living in Tasmania, also called marsupials or Tasmanian wolves. 
The last wild marsupial wolf was killed on May 13, 1930, and the last marsupial wolf kept in captivity died of old age in 1936 in a private zoo. Despite the fact that the species seemed to have disappeared forever, scientists believe that they might be able to revive it. In 1999, the National Museum of Australia in Sydney announced the start of a project to create a clone of the marsupial wolf using the DNA from its pup that has been preserved in alcohol at the museum. DNA was extracted in late 2002, but the samples turned out to be too damaged and thus unusable. On February 15, 2005, the project was suspended. However, in May 2008, scientists did manage to get some of the marsupial wolf genes to work in the embryo of a mouse. The alcoholized pup of this marsupial predator that has been kept in the Sydney's museum for over 100 years was used as a source of the genetic material. It's very likely that the scientists will eventually be able to resurrect the thylacine, even if it takes hundreds of attempts. Urox is an extinct ungulate mammal that was domesticated by the ancient settlers of India and Eurasia about 10,000 years ago. Urox is considered to be one of the ancestors of all modern cattle. But unfortunately, this historically important species was declared extinct in the 17th century AD, when the last Urox died of disease. Scientists are currently planning on resurrecting the Urox by backbreeding the primitive breeds of European cattle. They plan to breed species similar to the Urox until they get an animal that's as similar as the Urox as possible. Despite the fact that the Urox bred this way won't be identical to the extinct ones, scientists believe that there will be very few differences. It's noted that the chances of success of this experiment are very high. After all, heck cattle were bred from the modern domestic bull breeds originating from the Urox bred in a similar initiative in the 20th century. That experiment was partially successful and thus, a modern experiment may work out well. The Carolina parakeet is a bird of the Pistacidae family which lived in North America until it was exterminated by hunters, resulting in the genus being declared extinct. It's possible to understand the reasonings behind the extermination, but it's impossible to accept it, as it's simply horrible in any case. Poachers hunted the Carolina parakeet for their incredibly beautiful feathers, which were used at the time in the production of expensive ladies' hats. The demand for these hats led to the fact that the Carolina parakeet was declared completely extinct in 1939. Nevertheless, scientists are currently working on reviving these wonderful birds. They have sequenced the DNA of the Carolina parakeet from the fragments of its eggshell stored in the New York State Museum. The geneticists are planning on trying to use a female black-headed parrot, Nundeus nende in Latin, for a surrogate. And even though scientists' intentions are good, many people rightfully believe that after the revival of these parrots, the story of their extermination may repeat itself. Unlike the rest of the animals featured in this video, the ivory-billed woodpecker is not recognized as completely extinct. It's officially listed as a species that is in danger of extinction. However, since there are literally only a couple of these woodpeckers left in the world, most ornithologists consider the species to be completely extinct. When it comes to resurrecting extinct animals, one can't fail to mention mammoths, as these mammals are perhaps the most famous extinct creatures in the whole world. This is largely due to the fact that mammoths receive a lot of attention in pop culture. There have been many movies and cartoons made about them, such as The Ice Age, for example, featuring Manny the Mammoth. That's why many people are waiting for the resurrection of mammoths. They'd be very interested in seeing how these animals actually looked. Apparently, these wishes might come true soon, since scientists often find remains of mammoths in the permafrost. Just recently, a mammoth that lived only 4,300 years ago was found on Wrangell Island in the Arctic Ocean. Scientists believe that resurrecting mammoths is easier than other extinct animals because the permafrost prevents them from completely decomposing and preserving important genetic material. Scientists have already extracted cells from the remains of many mammoths and plan on combining the mammoth genes with the genome of an elephant embryo to create a hybrid of a mammoth and an elephant with all the mammoth traits that we know from movies and books. And that's it for today. If you had the ability to revive any animal, what would it be? Let us know in the comments. 
Oh, and also, if you think it should be done at all. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.